everybody, my name is Dr. Mongoose, and I'm not a doctor, but I play one on the internet, bringing you today my first ever Titanfall commentary, and it's going to be talking about just my initial impressions of the game, um, what I like, what I don't like, um, things that can be done moving forward, and uh, it's one of my, um, I don't think it's an, it's not a very early game, I was having some issues with my capture card, which is why it's taking a couple days to uh, get some gameplay out, but um, I have been live streaming almost every day, and so there's a lot of uh, fun stuff there if you want to check it out. But for now, let's get started. It's a game of attrition on... Uh, I don't remember the map name, unfortunately. I'm still learning those, but uh, the it's a game of attrition. We start out down a little bit, but uh, end up coming back in the end, and it's a very, very good game statistically for me, and just overall enjoyable, which takes me to my first point about Titanfall. And it's a very, very fun game. It's a very, very enjoyable game. And oftentimes you hear that thrown around when it comes to, you know, uh, first-person shooters and other such things. It's like, oh, it's a really enjoyable game. I, you know, have fun with it, that sort of thing. But what's really nice about Titanfall is that it feels very fresh. Like, it's got, um... It's got a little something for everyone. Like, if you want to pilot a giant robot, you can pilot a giant robot. If you want to, you know, just have fun running around, uh, you know, farming creep like you would in League of Legends, you can do that. If you're someone who enjoys that kind of frenetic quake style of gameplay where you're jumping off three walls, doing a 360, and then sniping someone in the head, it's got that as well. It's a very, very good game. It's a not a jack-of-all-trades game, but it's a game that has something for everyone, and it does each of those things very, very well, which makes the game so enjoyable, and, you know, it's been impossible to put down. Like, I've got, at the moment, like, I think maybe 12 hours played, and I'm almost uh, through the first, like, generation of... Um, of uh, pilots so I mean if you think about it like I've only had the game for you know what two days now two three days now and I've almost completely maxed out a, a character so it really speaks to you know how fun this game is both solo and in groups um, the second thing that's really really great about it that you know at least one of my more, more positive things about it is that the gunplay is very very smooth it's very very enjoyable how um, how good the gun, just the gunplay itself feels. And in a game like this, where it's very, very movement based and it's very, very movement heavy, it's, uh, there's always the chance that, you know, the gunplay itself isn't going to work out as well as, uh, you really need it to, which is very, very nice to see that it's not the case in this game. It was great in the beta, and for, in, in some ways, it's just gotten better, um, as the, uh, full game has come out, especially with, you know, all the different guns and the ways we see things working now. Um, another uh, great thing about it is just it gives you it gives you as a player a lot of power, and that's really really uh very rarely do you see a game that gives you as a player a lot of power. Um, the best way I can describe this is that you know as a pilot, say you're a pilot going up against the Titan, like there's almost there's almost like a hundred different things you could do to try and take that Titan down. You could rodeo it and shoot it um, shoot at its core. You could get an anti-Titan weapon and shoot at it in you know a multitude of different ways. You could use grenades or satchel charges, that sort of thing. Or you can get in a Titan yourself and do a Titan on Titan fight. You can drop a Titan onto another Titan like I just did right there. It's a game that empowers the player a lot from how the movement works, from the way the weapons feel, from how the titan mechanics and the player mechanics work. It's a game that empowers the player to do a lot of different things. And that's very good for a game these days because a lot of games these days are now very limiting when it comes to, you know, what they want you to do and how they want you to play and what uh, is their idea of how the game works. So it's very refreshing to have a game that empowers a player in such a way. Obviously it doesn't, you know, give the player everything, but it's a game that really does put the player first and foremost. Now on to some of the unfortunate and more negative aspects of it. Um, very quickly, the fact that there's no land feature is kind of sad. It really does hurt a lot. It really hurts the esports potential of this game. And again, I've only been playing it for a couple days. There, I think that there is a way for it, you know, to have esports potential, but it needs a lot of testing. It needs a lot of work, and we need to see what sort of support the respawn plans to give um, Titanfall, which they said they claim they have, um, they are planning to do that, so we'll have to see where that comes from, but that lack of land support really, really hurts um, its ability to be played as a as a, as a console eSport. Um, another, this is actually a big issue I've got, is that CTF needs one big fix, and that is that you should not be able to run a flag in a Titan. It completely breaks CTF as a game mode in Titanfall, and 
it really like CTF is a game mode that is normally very competitive in almost any game but the fact that you can run a flag in a giant robot it's a problem like that is really one of like my big issues with Titanfall is that you can run a tight you can run a flag in a Titan and they really do need to patch that out um, make, being able to ride on a Titan, that's fine because they, you know, they only move so quickly, but being able to literally grab the flag, hop in a giant robot, and then be protected and very, you know, maneuverable, it, it's an issue. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of that. Um, some of the, uh, you know, I know it's a dedicated server only style setup. Um, they, it just feels like they need some work on the server side of things. Um, there have been a lot of times where I've run into almost game-breaking unplayable lag, uh, like in about maybe 15 to 20 percent of my games, and that's a lot. I mean, I know it's a launch title and it'll get better, but the fact that you know they've made a big deal about the Azure servers and how this game works and how it utilizes cloud technology, the fact that 15 to 20 percent of my games and my friends are experiencing it sometimes much worse than I am, where the lag is utterly unplayable like you're you know you're warping across the map and then warping back with each step that's a big problem and they do need to fix that i imagine it will get better with time but it's just kind of bringing back memories of the whole ea battlefield 4 thing all over again so that's something that needs to get fixed um uh needs to get fixed asap um aside from that i mean that's those aren't like super negative things i mean the ctf one really is a big problem but for the most part, again, it's a very enjoyable game. I'm having so much fun playing, and actually, as soon as I'm done recording this commentary, I'm going to hop on Titanfall and start um, and start playing it some more. So, it's a very, very fun game. It's a very, very enjoyable game. I'm having the time of my life. It's fun to have a shooter again that really, you know, makes you want to play. Like, I played Ghost because, you know, I did enjoy Ghost, but I was mostly playing it because it's the MLG shooter. It's on the circuit right now. This is a shooter that I can play just because, you know, I enjoy it, and it's fun, and... It's something that, you know, I want to just have fun playing. Um, it's a sh it Finally, like, all of my friends are back together and we're all playing a game together. So it's nice to be able to have that again in a shooter that everyone enjoys. Where it's not, you know, just like, oh, well, some of my friends are playing Ghost, some are playing Battlefield, some are doing this, some are doing that. It's nice to have the community kind of, you know, my group of friends back together again. Well, guys, that's going to wrap up my commentary here. I hope you enjoy it. Um, please leave me your um, first impressions of Titanfall and that sort of uh, what you're thinking of the game, if you're enjoying it, what console, what uh, platform you have it on, that sort of thing. Um, another video will probably be coming in the next couple days. Um, probably most, most likely the next few videos might be stream highlights because they had some really, really fun games on stream the other night. And uh, another one that will be coming out is I'll probably be doing a commentary kind of uh, talking about the competitive potential of Titanfall. And um, some, you know, some of like the balance issues or problems you can run into making this an esport with a very close attrition game that I had the other night. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe if you feel like doing that. And as always, remember to watch two of my videos and call me in the morning. You guys all have a nice day.